Welcome to this session on Seamless Multicad Assembly Modeling, Part Design and Documentation. I'm Callum Price, Technical Marketing Specialist for Brickscat Mechanical. In modern manufacturing, parts often come from multiple suppliers in many different CAD formats. All of these need to come together into a single product. Along the way, engineers have to modify existing models, create new ones, and generate documentation that's accurate and production ready. That's the challenge. BricsCAD Mechanical combines the familiar 2D drafting environment engineers already know, with the dedicated tools required for efficient mechanical design and production drawings, with some tools that are usually only found in more expensive 3D modeling systems. It's built on BricsCAD Pro, but adds the full mechanical toolset. That means true assemblies with real bomb functionality compliance with standards, and fully connected documentation. These are capabilities you don't get in traditional 2D drafting tools, or even in AutoCAD Mechanical, but they're included in BricsCAD Mechanical, which is why it's the best choice for engineers who need a complete production-ready mechanical solution in a familiar, efficient DWG environment. And that's what I'll show you today. We'll start with a folder of parts, all in different CAD formats, sourced from ABAB's 3D Find It library. These parts come together to make a motor starter and drive panel. Here's the workflow. Communicator for BricsCAD takes care of compatibility, so you can bring parts in from all those different systems. BricsCAD Mechanical gives you the tools to assemble them, document them, and take them through to production. Communicator for BricsCAD is what makes this workflow truly multi-CAD. It supports a wide range of formats and gives you control over how models come in, from PMI and metadata to repair, simplification, option for hidden parts, and even preserving full assembly structures. In V26, the settings interface has been updated and is now easier to manage. Searching Communicator, we can set options like background generation, which allows you to import assemblies in the background while you keep working. And we can choose to bring parts in as mechanical blocks, so they're ready for the bomb and assembly use. Here I'm importing a SolidWorks assembly file. Notice how the entire structure is preserved and parts come across as mechanical blocks. That means the model is immediately bomb ready with no extra steps required. Here I've opened a new drawing, First, I'll insert the SOLIDWORKS assembly I just imported and saved as a DWG file. It comes in as a mechanical block with its structure preserved. Next, I'll insert another component that was saved as a DWG. This is the bottom-up assembly approach. Now, I'll bring in a step file, but I have to use import because insert is DWG only. You'll see this fails. Communicator won't bring a non-native file directly into an active assembly as a mechanical block. I'll open the communicator settings and switch the product structure to block and then re-import. It comes in, but as multiple separate blocks. So first, I combine them into a single block and then convert that into a mechanical block. And this is how you would do a top-down assembly approach. Using RefEdit, I can edit this panel directly in place within the assembly. Here, I'll sketch directly from the mounting hole geometry of one of the components. This gives me an accurate reference without needing to measure. I can then copy that sketch to all similar hole locations. Skipping ahead, here's the completed set of sketches. Now I can run Extrude Subtract to cut them through the panel. All the mounting holes are created, perfectly aligning the components. From the standard parts library, I can drop in the fastener I need and adjust its parameters to match the hole. With the fastener in place, I then use constraints to secure it properly within the assembly. Now, let's create a production drawing of the panel with the mounting holes. I'll start by adding a new layout. BricsCAD lets you use your own company standards or out-of-the-box templates. With the layout ready, I'll run ViewBase to generate a view of just the panel 
and place it directly onto the sheet. From here, I can set the scale, add center marks to the holes, and place dimensions that define their positions and size. And in just a few steps, we've gone from 3D assembly to a clean, production ready 2D drawing. Here's a step file from a supplier, a cable entry panel. With SM Convert, I can turn this into a sheet metal model. At first, you'll notice a flange that fails to classify correctly. This is where the new sheet metal edge feature recognition in V26 comes in. By adjusting this new setting and rerunning the conversion, the flange is recognized properly. BricsCAD also identifies form features. I can select one, find all similar, and replace them with a standard library feature, giving me full parametric control. So even starting from neutral geometry, I now have a clean, editable sheet metal model. Now, let's create some assembly instructions. On this DIN rail are two devices, and each one is made up of two components. With the manual explosion tool, I can define the build process step by step. First, I'll pull the devices off the rail and add arrow annotations to show direction. In the next step, I'll split each device into its two components, add arrows again, and capture a camera view this time to record the step. Once the sequence is defined, I can export it as an SDG, lightweight and ready to reuse in manuals or other documentation. Let's create a general arrangement drawing of the full cabinet assembly. I already have a front and plan elevation placed. From the plan view, I'll create a section line to cut the cabinet open and place the resulting section view on the sheet. Next, I'll project two more views from the front elevation, a side elevation and an isometric. In V26, these views are generated in the background, so I don't have to stop and wait. While they're processing, I can go straight ahead and add a detail view. By the time that's placed, the projected views are already finished and I'm in the bomb manager, ready to insert a bomb table onto the drawing. To show the power of associativity, I'll switch back to model space and delete a component, and the bomb updates instantly. Moving back to drawing space, the section view also reflects the change. There's no risk of the drawing and the bomb falling out of sync. Finally, I'll add balloons across the drawing. I'll start on the detail view, then work my way around the rest of the sheet until every part is called out. And that completes the general arrangement drawing. Multiple views, sections, detail view, bomb, and balloons. All fully associative and always up to date. So, in this breakout, we move from multi-CAD assemblies to in-context edits. Part creation and sheet metal production drawings to assembly instructions and to a general arrangement drawing. And that's the point. BricsCAD Mechanical takes you from assembly to documentation in one streamlined and efficient workflow.